What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Aftersound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. All right, guys. Well, we have a major change happening within Splinterlands, and specifically the end of season rewards. Now, we just had the reward rework, but it looks like there was a little bit of an oversight here, uh, and Matt put out a message. I don't want to read the entire thing to you, but uh, I'm just going to try and skim it as much as possible and obviously give my thoughts. Uh, now, Matt's saying I wanted uh, to take a moment, let everyone know a last minute change. It's going out in today's update, so they're currently in maintenance right now. But the formula for this end of season glint reward is going to be changed and uh, based on the amount that you earn during the season rather than the rating at the end of the season. The main reason for this is because cards that had no staked SPS or no, you know, no, were not leveled up or didn't even own cards, they would essentially be able to earn a significant amount of glint every season just by finishing at a top spot, right? If, if all that matters is your rating, you could just try to grind for a day or two, and then you would end up with a ton of glint at the end of the season. So this would have been a serious problem is what Matt says, uh, and it needed to be addressed, as, uh, and they're doing it as almost like an emergency fix before the upcoming season, or I'm sorry, before the current season comes to an end in just a few days. Uh, now, after this update, what it's changing to is that players will receive at the end of the season uh, the amount of glint equal to 2x what they earned during the season. So effectively, every time you win a battle, think of it from a season-long perspective, you'll be getting 3x the amount, right? And that's what he's saying here. Each battle will count three times. You get one paid up front and then two times that at the end of the season. Uh, this will ideally encourage players to get more cards, stake more SPS, play in modern format, and possibly purchase more energy in order to increase their glint earnings as much as possible from battles, rather than just stop when they reach a high rating and collect an outsized reward at the end of the season. Now, this is what used to happen when we had like the way, way older types of rewards. So um, I'm, I'm glad that they're changing it up. Uh, this was probably a change that was there within the first couple, like six months or so that I was here. Again, when the, when the rewards are completely different, but it reminds me of that in terms of like an exploit. Uh, so Matt goes on to say, we understand that some players will be received or end up receiving less glint than they would have previously at the end of season as a result of this change, though many will get more. And I sincerely apologize for the oversight in the original design. They're still reviewing data and feedback and planning to make additional changes to the glint system and reward shop in the near future. Uh, as discussed in the announcement post, like I have mentioned in previous town halls, major changes like this are expected to be chaotic, yada, yada, yada. Matt goes through all of that stuff. Uh, but he does say, I look forward to discussing this and more on the upcoming town hall this Thursday, April 11th. So, um, I mean, I don't see any problem with it. I think that it was probably the best way to go so that we don't have any kind of exploit type of situation, which may have been something that they had been seeing from a lot of accounts that I know, you know, people have been talking about in map chat or wherever accounts that would just like rent a bunch of cards, rent a bunch of SPS, and then just go all the way up to champion and just kind of sit there. Maybe they get on the leaderboard, maybe they don't, but either way they end the season with a ton of glint and that glint can in turn be used to buy more energy at a later time, right? And, and that energy essentially translates into more SPS coming out of the reward pool for accounts that don't really, uh, that aren't really like in it. Now, the other reason that I really like this is it values the time of the people who are spending, you know, uh, time day in and day out rather than just grinding for like one day doing X amount of battles or renting whatever cards. You have to be consistent with it. And if you're consistent, you're getting three times the value now, which I think is good. So ultimately, I'm, I'm very happy about this change. I'm glad that they caught it early rather than, you know, a season or two or a month or two down the road when people are just like, yeah, we've noticed that there's some kind of exploitative behavior here. Is the team going to do anything? They were uh, they were ahead of the ball here. So really appreciate that from the team and Matt's transparency on this. I like the fact that they can just go in and do a hot fix rather than uh, <laughs> rather than than having to wait until the end of season or wait until whatever. But um, you know, shout out to the team. This this it's not going to be perfect. This is what Matt was saying in the final uh, sentences here. You know, this stuff is not going to be perfect, but I do believe that this is the right way to go, and uh, hopefully. There's not too many people who will be impacted by this um, in, a, in a very negative way. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I will catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.